So I'm Alex falsely accused his friend of rape. The vast majority of people would see this behavior and dislike him for it, but there's that very small minority of people who just don't give a fuck and those people are I'm Alex stands, aka young teenage girls who are obsessed with I'm Alex to the point of using him as their profile picture and doing nothing but talking about him and wanting to get his attention. These people are such diehard I'm Alex fans that they would go out of their way to defend him against people who are criticizing him for making false rape allegations and that's exactly what they did to the YouTuber Kavos who has been understandably very critical of I'm Alex's behavior. This all started when I'm Alex tweeted out that he was going to be at the convention Summer in the City to which Kavos responded with, looks like I'm attending my first Summer in the City. And for anyone who's saying that I'm only going to confront I'm Alex, he wants to meet me just as much as I want to meet him. Just listen. I've meant to meet Kavos five times. That's never happened. Oh, yeah. He never turns up. Yeah. And I want to meet him. I'd like to have a conversation with him and go, why did you make the video? Yeah. I was like, I could understand that. Once Kavos announced that he was going to this convention with the primary intention of confronting Alex, Alex's stands started to fight back against the evil Kavos. Kavos posted some DMs from Alex Edits, who said, Alex is better than you, showing a Photoshop picture of I'm Alex holding up a sign that says, Kavos only hates me because I'm cuter than him. Alex Edits follows it up by saying, Get a fucking honest career, you skeet. And then Kavos quotes all of this by saying, This is the shit I have to deal with. <laughs> you have Kavos posting some more messages from Alex Stans with the caption, Oh god, I'm shaking. I better hire security. The I'm Alex stands are going to beat me up at Summer in the City. Then the day comes around where Summer in the City actually starts, and Kavos posts a picture of him being there asking, Where's Alex? And I'm sure a lot of other people were asking the same thing, as many people probably traveled far and wide to come see their favorite YouTuber, I'm Alex, but unfortunately, he couldn't attend because he posted this, on his Twitter. Apologies to everyone I was meant to see at Summer in the City today. I feel really ill and don't want to turn up when I can barely stand. I'm sorry if I let anyone down by not turning up. I've just really not been up to it this week. Of course, after this tragic news, we have people like Nicholas Diorio showing their support by tweeting at him. Can't imagine the stress and agony that losing subscribers every upload must cause. Stay strong, Alex. He's a good boy. Didn't do nothing. Kavos then shows this tweet by I'm Alex and says, Kavos never shows up. Hmm. Now only a couple days after I'm Alex completely skipped his appearance at the Summer in the City convention because he was too ill, he launched a brand new episode of his brand new podcast called The Internet Sensation Podcast. And on that podcast episode, he seemed very healthy, very well, not really sick at all. So honestly, that was a pretty miraculous and fast turnaround time from when he could not attend Summer in the City for whatever reason, totally not related to Kavos being there to confront him about the Slazo allegations. So of course, Kavos tweets out, I'm Alex, you were ill for Summer in the City? Okay, fine. Let me on your podcast then, because you clearly have had a miraculous recovery. And this tweet in particular triggered the I'm Alex stance. The I'm Alex stance decided to go to war after hearing this tweet from Kavos. Because a Twitter account called Amy Jade posted a very lengthy letter to Kavos with the caption, Sorry, not sorry, Kavos. Just a wee message from a group of about 20, edited by three, approved by thousands. XX, I'm Alex, XX. And this is what the post reads. A letter for our darling Kavos. Right, Kavos, you ugly fucking shit. Firstly, just a little message from all of Alex's fans. Fuck off. No one fucking likes you or your lies, you absolute cum rag. Second of all, Alex can't help his mental illnesses. Some people know how to recover from them faster than others. Some just automatically recover faster than others. They don't get to choose. So before you start laughing and joking about how he didn't go to summer in the city because of it, learn some knowledge, you thick bastard. You're acting so disgustingly petty. 
about the whole situation, so personally, I think you should just shut the fuck up and pull your head out of your ass. Just because you think you're a hard man because Alex made a mistake like every fucking human and you called him out for it, that doesn't in any way mean you can take the piss about his or anyone else's mental health. In my opinion, Alex took longer to reply about the Slazo situation because of his mental health and all the pressure he had been put under because of you. I really don't understand why you have to get involved with this podcast because it's pretty clear to me that you're just trying to cause shit again. So how about you go back to your deep, dingy hole of disgrace that you came from and leave Alex alone because his situation has nothing to do with you anymore. He's apologized, so why don't you just leave him the fuck alone? You should be embarrasses, honestly, because you're just getting your fans to turn against him because they've been influenced by your horrible opinions of him. Your fans most likely haven't seen the nicest side of Alex and realized he's a caring, creative man who deserves nothing but appreciation. Yes, he made a mistake, but who hasn't? I'm sure you will one day, and I hope you do, because I want people to call you out exactly how you called Alex out. Get a taste of your own medicine, and stop using people's problems for clout. It's such a dick move. Y you know what your problem is? You're so desperate to cling on to whatever slither of recognition you were getting. Uh, too desperate, and it's made you into such a clout-chasing idiot. You know, part of me feels sorry that you can't pull your head out of your ass, but another huge part of me is thanking the heavens above that I will never be able to become even half as manipulative and ruthless as you. You want what's best for both you and you are fans content. Alex wants what's best for him and his fans. Content. See? You're not that different. Well, except for the fact that Alex has a tolerable and frankly lovely personality. Unlike you, however. You claim that Alex is avoiding you, and maybe he is. I'm not him, so I wouldn't know. But with his mental state that you're taking as a joke, it's no surprise he isn't going to events or meet and greets. It's so strange to me how you're so dense and don't realize what you're doing to people. I'd say that I hope this went to your head, but unfortunately I'm afraid that you're too far gone for it to have even breached the surface of your fucked up mind. With that, I leave you to your own prickish ways. Numb nuts. Adios. The Tory Boy Group of Instagram. The person who just read that out, most of you probably already know, but his name is Colossal is Crazy. You should follow him on Twitter and YouTube if you haven't already. But moving on, Kavos reacted to this by saying, This has been deleted, but read this. I've never laughed so much. Holy fuck. <laughs> All this tells me is that I'm doing something right and won't ever stop. The main account that made this is nowhere to be found. Just like I'm Alex at Summer in the City. And then Kavos shows a message from Amy that said, Notice how we go from full range to passive, you gonna die, to not bothering, laughing my ass off. BWC responded to this by saying, What the actual fuck is this? Definitely the best way to make your favorite YouTuber look so much better. So after this came out, obviously at the very bottom of the post, it shows a couple people who wrote this because as the message said, it was written by 20 and edited by 3. And one of the three people is called Lenny X Emsel, I think it's called. Either way, she has a profile picture of I'm Alex in a cowboy hat. And her bio reads, Kavos can suck my dick. Fan account. Kavos is an ugly prick who deserves no views or attention. And then if you check out her story, she has a couple interesting messages. One of them reads off, I've actually had enough people making fun of Alex. He's not mentally okay at the moment, and everyone gets that. So let the man rest and find himself again. And it's absolutely disgusting that his fans are saying your depression is a mood and just kill yourself and stuff like this depression isn't a joke people commit suicide because of this and people like Kavos is like oh you were ill but now you're making podcasts like maybe he's found himself but we need to let him have time so he can feel 100% again so I don't tell him to get some sleep 
to don't tell him to have a break from YouTube because that's what makes him happy, making his fans happy. And Keemstar has made fun of people with mental illnesses before. Example, Etika. And look what happened his mental illness got the better of him, and he took his own life at such a young age. Alex, we are all here for you, and take the time you need. There is no rush. Cavos, you can suck my dick, mate. It's unbelievably rude that you've started on Alex again, just because he was mentally ill and couldn't go to summer in the city. He's apparently made a miraculous recovery according to your Twitter. When he makes YouTube videos because of one, he has fans to keep entertained, two, he makes them because it makes him feel a lot better, and three, you do not realize that his happiness could just be an act. Not everyone is as happy as they seem to be. So how about you fuck off and leave Alex to his job? Keep your fat nose out of his life and stuck to your own, instead of making his a misery. At Pierce underscore Cav, leave him alone, you absolute disgrace. And I'm sure there are many messages beyond this from angry stands, but these are just the most notable ones. Now, normally I would end it off there, but we actually have an update to I'm Alex's podcast. He posted this video onto his Twitter. You may be wondering why I'm in bed. Um, it's because I've given up entirely on life in general. Um, now, you may know I've been on an extensive break on YouTube because I've been writing and working on multiple projects. And I launched one of them yesterday, which was a podcast. Um, we spent a lot of time working on it. Um, a lot of time. And I was thinking, finally, I started to release these new projects. And it's nice to be working on some stuff. That I'm really passionate about. Um, apparently, that feeling didn't last very long. Because <laughs> I was just recording a video with Will, and in the video, we moved the laptop forwards, my laptop, with everything on it, um, the files that I need. They're now gone. Because <laughs> Will's microphone came loose and smashed my MacBook. So I won't be doing anything for a bit until I fix it. So. Good night. Now thanks to this tweet made by Willany, we actually have an image showing the extent of the damage that had been done to I'm Alex's laptop. And as you can see, the screen is merely cracked. So you could really do a number of things to recover the files that are just on that computer. Number one would probably be plugging that laptop into a separate monitor and then, you know, transferring the files onto the cloud or onto a different computer and then working from there. You could also buy a new laptop and transfer for the files you could take the hard drive physically out if you really had to you could even just download episode one from youtube and then cut and reuse the assets and since this only happened a couple days after the first episode of his podcast and the podcast is weekly he had plenty of time to do this so to make a video saying you feel like you were done with life because of this, I feel is a little bit over the top. But hey, if he wants to say that his soul was crushed due to this microphone falling onto his laptop, he is free to do so. It's just not something I would do, especially when it pertains to my job. I would kind of just like, you know, get it done and then maybe talk about it after the solution is fixed, especially to avoid worrying my fans. But Ultimately, it's up to him on how he decides to express himself online, but it's also my right to criticize it because uh, he doesn't really have the best track record when uh, saying stuff publicly. False rape allegations are a bit, a bit bad, but <laughs> Nicholas Oreo, who frequently shares similar opinions to me, decided to say this about it on Twitter. This tweet has it all. Walking the dog, uh, uh collecting boulders, uh, uh, smashed MacBook, L-O-L. Internet online responds to him by saying, correct me if I'm wrong, can't you just plug a MacBook into a monitor like most laptops, then magically it works again? Nick responds, no, you don't understand. The microphone exploded on contact, vaporizing his popular podcast assets. He would love to upload daily, 
but depression has caused his nuclear microphone screws to be loose. Internet Unwind then responds, Alex works harder at finding reasons to be depressed than, than anyone else I've ever seen. <laughs> lol. Once we got an image of the broken laptop, Nick decided to show it on his Twitter with this caption. Hey guys, I am Alex. My laptop is broken. Life looks bleak. Podcast files unrecoverable. An internet sensation podcast cannot continue. But you know what can continue? My coverage of people talking about YouTube drama on Twitter. If you want to keep up to date with all of that, I highly recommend subscribing to this channel with notifications on. If you want to see this all unfold in real time, I highly recommend following me on Twitter. Thank you to Blue Heat for becoming a channel member. If you would also like to become a channel member, it is only $1 a month and you get a shout out at the end of every video. But with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video.